Welcome Taurus and thank you for being here today. This is your monthly love message for October 2020. I've already pulled your crowning message and your crowning wisdom message. So let's have a look and see what they are saying. For your crowning message, Taurus, you have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. For your crowning wisdom message, you have the message that says, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow, you will be surprised where it leads. Your main card to represent you, Taurus, the deck that I was drawn to for the October readings says next to Taurus, I have. And I feel, Taurus, this is um, one of the major characteristics with yourself in terms that you are natural, natural born, abundant, grounded, solid individuals. And you have what you need to survive. You have the power within to seek out abundance, to be abundant and to share that abundance with others. I feel with these three cards that have come out, I feel you're being guided to make the effort with the person that you are thinking about or connecting with. And I feel that you're being guided specifically for that, to make that effort because you do have, it's almost as if, it's almost as if divine is saying to you, don't become complacent with what you do have. Still make that effort, still make that gesture because great love is worth taking the steps that you are guided to take. And I feel with the wisdom card that you're being encouraged to almost kind of stake, take stock and realize that life is a, you know full of up and down cycles um, that are constantly shifting. And if you are an individual where you feel that you have everything already, you don't need love, you don't want love. Actually, what spirit is saying is you do. So make that effort because actually, if you, um, if you resist the natural flow of life and the natural flow of life is for us to show love, to be love, to receive love, then you will create unnecessary stress for yourself. And I feel that you are strongly being guided to go with the flow with the person that you probably have got an inkling that you kind of like, but actually you're in that, uh, that, that space where I don't want it. I can't be, I can't be dealing with it. I have enough. I have everything that I need. And I think divine is saying, just go with it because you're going to be really surprised where this connection leads. Let's get straight into your cards, Taurus. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does these soulmates of Taurus, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love for the month of October 2020 that we're allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all. As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right. Let's see, Taurus, what's happening here. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell us how does these soulmates of... Thank you. First card out is the world. Yeah, it's time to start, start a new cycle. <laughs> Yep, it's time to start a new cycle, Taurus. How does these soulmates of 
Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Feel towards, thank you. We have the Empress. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups. And one more, please. One more card. Thank you. And we have the Queen of Cups. Okay. All right. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you give me more information? Thank you. We have the eight of coins. We have the Four of Swords, we have the Page of Swords, wow, lots of swords, we have the Hermit, and one more card, please, more, Whoa. okay, I'm going to take, I'm going to take the Ace of Wands, because it came out, and you've got um, a bonus card, which is the Nine of Swords, Okay, you can see all of those clearly. Lovely. All right, Taurus, I feel that the person that you are connecting to um, straight away is fearing this connection. Um, but let's let's start at the beginning. I feel that there's a new cycle coming in. Something is closing and a new cycle is beginning. I feel, Taurus, that the person that you are connecting with may be at a distance from you, um, a different city, a different state, a different country even. I feel that you are constantly on their mind at the moment. In this particular deck with the eight of with the eight of coins, I'm always drawn to the person in the middle that has almost like a jester's hat. I feel that you are on their mind, you are in their heart, you are the main focus for them. But it appears to be, there seems to be some fear around this connection. It's almost as if they don't want to make a fool of themselves. They could be focusing on their finances. Um, maybe a new job has um, come in and they're just focusing on that. And that's what's bringing in a new cycle for them. I feel that they are seeing you as an empress, Taurus. Whether you're a male or female, I feel that they're seeing you with that empress energy. Somebody that is abundant, somebody that holds the world in their hand. Um, the world is your oyster. They see you as somebody that is fertile, somebody that's wise. They hold you in real high regard. I feel with the um, Four of Swords that they are trying to put behind whatever cycle is closing out for them and moving away from what doesn't serve them. They've obviously come out of something I feel um, that was possibly quite frightening, um, that wasn't healthy for them at all. Um, and they're moving away from that and they're moving away from what doesn't serve them into this wish fulfillment, which I feel that they are being guided that it's you. I feel they are watching and observing how this connection is going to play out because they want to come in. Um, with a with the with the Queen of Cups, they want to come in and offer this cup of love to you and major passion. So this person, um, from what I can see, they are holding you in real high regard, seeing you as that Empress, and I feel that they're coming in with the as the Queen of Cups energy. Um, as I say, gender doesn't matter. They've got that energy of uh, Queen of Cups wanting to offer this cup of um, unconditional, unspoken love. And they have a lot of passion for you. I feel that they are going within to make wise decisions. They do see you as um, 
your as their wish fulfillment but there's something that's frightening them look at this center cards um you know with all the swords here i feel that you guys may not be in major communication at all and i feel that's because spirit is guiding you to make the effort really is guiding you to make the effort on this it's almost as if they might be a little bit hesitant and um, to come forward but we'll see what the clarifications have to say as we get further into the uh, love message for you please can you thank you so the first card is the three of um wands yeah they are waiting they're waiting for you to make that effort to kind of give them that assurance that actually you are worth um, making those steps to see where this connection goes and go with the flow. Yeah, and I feel that with you going with the flow, this is just going to um, just end up being quite a beautiful beautiful abundant uh, relationship and I feel that they're waiting because with the moon cards coming in they're not sure how you feel this could be very very early um in this connection um Taurus but you know your situation um, and by all means flip the script if it is um if it's the other way around you're resonating with the other the other person um as being yourself i feel with the uh, page of coins that they do want to have these face-to-face -face conversations a serious conversation with you bringing in something solid because they do hold you in high regard and whatever they've gone through in the past they are trying to put that behind them and what came out is the ten of cups because they see you as their ultimate wish fulfillment my days with the nine of cups and the ten of cups this connection they they feel that you are their happiness and whatever they're coming out that closed off this cycle that they are leaving behind they don't want to make a fool of themselves which is why they are waiting because they want to know how if they don't know how you're feeling that i feel that the, you're going to have messages of wanting to meet wanting to talk um, having, you know, relatively serious conversations, getting to know each other because you are their wish fulfillment. You are their happy ever after. They see you as somebody that they could um, start a family with for sure. And I feel that's why Spirit is saying go with the flow because actually you're going to be really surprised where this connection leads. Thank you. Okay, well, we've got quite a few here. Okay, so I feel that um, as they are waiting, they are going within. You've got the hermit that's come out twice. You may be dealing with a strong Virgo or you may have Virgo in your chart. I feel that whatever they are moving away from that had them in fear, they are observing and watching you to see how you are going to react to this connection. And as such, they are going within and they are almost seeking, I feel, guidance from within, from above. Just trying to really feel out this, this connection um, because they want to make, a, you know, a, a wise choice. And the reason being is that they don't want this drama. I feel that they've had drama in their life already. Um, and they're moving away from it. And that's why they. I feel that they do feel this connection on a very deep soul level with the wish fulfillment and the Ten of Cups here. But they are going on the side of caution. And I feel if you make the effort, then the flow of this relationship will just be absolutely beautiful. But they've gone through a tower moment. It needed to happen. Um, and they are going within to make wise choices because they do not want this tower happening again. With you, they want to make the effort. They want to put in the work. And as we said here, they may have just started a new job um, where they're focusing on their work. 
but whatever they're doing, it looks as if they A, are surrendering to this connection with you because you are their wish fulfillment. They want to make wise choices and they want to leave whatever situation they are moving away from that closed out this cycle in their life. They're leaving it behind now and they are battered and bruised. You know, we're not even going to mince our words about it. They, they've obviously gone through quite a trying time you know with the nine of swords and the um six of swords here um and you've got the four of swords down here they've obviously gone through um some real you know analyzing some fear some some distress in whatever relationship they are coming um out of You've got the Page of Swords coming out again, clarifying the Queen of Cups. I feel, again, they're watching this connection. I feel that they want to come in with this cup of love. They have this passion for you. The chemistry is off the chart, but they are making wise decisions because they do not want this tower moment um, drama to happen because they've, they've been there, done that, bought the t-shirt and don't want it again. But however, they do feel this deep soul connection with you. They do hold you in high regard. Absolutely. And one more card, please, to clarify the answer to the question. How does the soulmates of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love for the month of October? 2020 that's too many just one one card please how does the song thank you wow yep yeah. and you've got the star they see you as their yeah their wish fulfillment a divine connection somebody that they recognize that they've they've possibly lived um, past lives with this is a very deep soul connection and that's why I feel spirit is saying to you make that effort um, because actually there's something that's shifting in your world or is going to be shifting and I feel this person coming into your life right now is going to help you through that shift I feel for the outcome um, with the knight of swords I feel that they are heading towards their truth. I feel that they're heading towards this new cycle that they want to have for themselves. And they see you in that picture. Um, you know, they may want to have those serious conversations with you. I mean, we had the um, page of um, coins here that is all about a serious conversation, but they could be somebody, you know, that, that's quite blunt, quite cutting, or they see you as somebody that's quite serious, quite blunt, quite cutting. And that might be making them a little bit reserved about coming forward. So I feel that th this particular card in this particular position, I feel that they are heading forward, cutting through nonsense because they want this new cycle in their life. And they may see you as somebody that's quite blunt, maybe a little bit judgmental, Taurus, um, somebody quite serious, but they do see you as somebody that they do want this new cycle with. They want to put in the effort for sure. The three of coins has come through um, again. Thank you. The Three of coins has come through again. So I, I, I do strongly feel either you've met this person at work or they've started um, where you work or vice versa. Um, they could have started a new job and they are concentrating on, on their job, putting in the work, putting in the effort. But also they do want to put the effort in with you. Right now, they may see you as your back turned to putting in this effort, in putting in this um uh, work into this connection which is why I feel your crowning message of um, make the effort is pretty pertinent then you've got the king of swords and then you have got the um, nine of pentacles here and you've got the bonus card of the six of wands which I'll just leave here for a moment I feel um, Taurus that they they, they see you as quite a tough cookie. 
male or female, it doesn't matter. Um, I feel they see you as moving away from making the effort into this connection. Um, somebody that is quite um, blunt, quite cutting, quite straight to the point. But they do see that your heart is open, um, Taurus. They just hold you in real high regard. I feel that your energy for them is the Empress energy, which is fertile, abundant. It's almost as if this person can see through some sort of persona that, you know, maybe you're unapproachable, you're a bit judgmental, a bit blunt, a bit cutting with your words, but I feel that they, they see beyond that. They definitely see you as somebody that's independent, abundant, wise. Yeah, you have it all, Taurus. You know, you have it all. You have the abundance. You don't need anything. You don't, you probably feel you don't need anybody. Divine is telling you, you do. Because there is change coming your way. And at, that is part of our life journey, our soul journey. And I feel that by making the effort with this person, I think, I feel they're going to be quite instrumental as you go through certain life life changes and i feel that this is going to commence in the month of october with the um six of um wands i definitely feel that they want to fight for this connection they have already identified that you are the one for them for sure and i'm just going to pop that here next to the swords because that was your bonus that came in Okay, right. So let's clarify a little bit further. Please, can you clarify the outcome cards for the collective of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Strength card. We have the Five of Wands and we have Temperance. I feel that they are very conf conflicted about this connection and they are trying to find the strength and the courage I feel to come forward to you because I feel that they see you as turning away from putting in the effort and it's 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 almost creating that internal com conflict with them should I come forward to Taurus should I not what should I do? And this is where they're being patient. This is where they're watching, excuse me, and observing you to see when is the right time, making wise choices to come forward into this connection. Make the effort, um, to, um, Taurus, because I feel by doing that, you will encourage the person that you are thinking about um, to come forward um to to start this connection they want to come forward but i feel that they see that you are not approachable at this time thank you and the next card is the lovers yeah they they see you as um you know a very very deep soul connection i feel that with the ten of cups um, that came up the nine of cups that came up earlier that um, they do see you as that deep deep soul connection um, possibly um, a twin flame um, but you know how it resonates for you is is down to your discernment but this person definitely is applying wisdom before they come forward they are observing and watching you to see how you are going to uh, react. They are trying to have the strength and the courage to come forward, but they are conflicted because I feel that um, you're not approachable at this time. There may have been some sort of misunderstanding, miscommunication between the pair of you. Could have been something that was that you said, Taurus, that's made them feel quite conflicted. This. Does this person like me? Do they want to progress? Um, I can feel the connection. Can they? It's almost as if they have these questions. The moon card that came up earlier. They don't know how you feel. 
um, and they are trying to put that behind them. You've got the Four of Swords that's come through twice. I feel that this Four of Swords is to do with a past relationship that they are moving away from that initiated closing of that cycle. This Four of um, Swords, I feel that they are trying to put behind that unapproachable um, presence or aura that you're giving out. Um, and it, they it, that could be a complete misunderstanding on their part. But that is what you are giving out, Taurus, I feel. And that's where I feel divine is saying to you, you know what, make this effort. Because this has the potential to be um, a the, the great love of your life. With the um, Seven of Swords, I feel that they aren't telling you how, um, <laughs> how, and I'm chuckling because I, they're not telling you how they feel. They're keeping that to themselves. But the reason I kind of chuckled, you are independent. You are beautiful. You are, um, you know, you're probably quite well off. Or, you know, you, you are financially very stable. You have everything that you need. And it almost feels as if, if they feel that you're unapproachable, they're not going to start, um, how can I put it? Um, almost kind of like commending you or letting you know, you know what, Taurus, you know, I, I just, I just think you're amazing. You know, you've achieved so much, um, you, you know, you're independent, you, you know, they, it's almost as if they're in awe of you, but they're not going to tell you because they don't want to make a fool of themselves. Um, and you may be just coming off giving the cold shoulder a little bit, um, Taurus. One more card, please, to clarify. Thank you. Oh, we've got two more. And yeah, I feel that um, they do see you as somebody with that emperor energy. Yeah, you could be, do you know what? If you met this person at work, um, you may be their boss, but you are a leader. Um, you are firm and strong, um, which again might be why they're not telling you how they feel because... That may be um, not allowed in, in the place of work, but they do want to rush in. They do want to rush in and communicate with you in some shape, form or another, Taurus. Please, can you tell me, give me more in-depth information, more in-depth to the outcome, please. Thank you. Okay, so we've got the Seven of Cups again. Okay, so yeah, I feel that there's been some sort of misunderstanding um, over choices, perhaps. Um, maybe they see you as unapproachable and you making the choice um, not to entertain this person. Okay, we've got... Okay, I, okay that's too many that's come out. But I feel to take these cards. Right, so we have... Justice, yeah, these were the right cards to take because it's exactly the right amount. The Three of Wands, Justice, Three of Wands, and you have the uh, Six of Cups. Okay, so I, I, I definitely feel, um, Taurus, that they may feel that there's been some sort of misunderstanding over something that you've said that you are not choosing to entertain this connection. I feel that with the justice card here, I feel that divine is coming in to try and balance out this connection because divine knows that actually the potential of this relationship is going to be beyond your wildest dreams. And there is something I feel that's going to happen within your life journey where actually this person is going to help you through it. I feel that they are waiting. They're waiting, watching, wanting to make um, wise decisions around this connection. And the reason being is that they do see you as somebody that they have lived um, past, past lives with. You are independent, beautiful and wise, but there is something that they're seeing through 
this facade of the knight and the king of swords um you know if you are the boss and you are that emperor figure and you literally do lead a, a team of people, then, you know, there is a certain amount of, you know, uh, work etiquette that needs to apply. Do you know, you know, bosses, you know, can't really, it's not the done thing to get involved with your staff because that can create a whole nother set of dynamic. And you could be that type of person, Taurus, that, you know what, I'm not even entertaining it, you're my staff, or, you know, something like that, where you are quite firm um, in your role, you are, you know, you will take control, you're not letting anything interfere with that, and I feel that this person knows that and sees that, however, on a deeper soul level, they see through the facade of the boss, the facade of the cold shoulder. They see somebody that actually, I know this person on a deeper level. Please, can you clarify my angels and spirit guides of the divine? Thank you. Wow. Okay. Okay, so that one came out first. Yep, they are all up in their head and they are in the hangman position. Um, Taurus, whatever whatever your energy is around this person that is giving them this kind of cold sh shoulder or um, your energy is making them feel that they can't approach you, they are really all up in their head and spiritually they're just stagnant because they're not sure what to do. And I think we saw that with the moon um, earlier. They just don't know how you feel because your armour of of work or your armor of however you've met this person is solid is tight nobody is breaking through that um and that's why i feel again you're being encouraged to make that effort there's a reason for it and then you've got the sun card this connection is divinely guided i feel with the justice here this i feel that this is divine intervening and taking control of this situation and almost prod prodding you and poking you and saying do you know what you need to sit up and pay attention to this person because you need to make the effort because this is that this has the potential be to be the greatest love of your life with the sun card there which is the most victorious card um, in the in the whole deck you know this is um this is divinely guided this is a this has the potential to be a really magnificent out of the world love so go with the flow with it listen to what divine is is prompting you and telling you your gut your intuition will tell you um about this person and i feel that is divine intervening on on their behalf i feel that with um divine's help to move this connection along the way you're going to start receiving messages of passion um from this person and i feel that as those messages of passion start coming through what they are waiting for is to offer this cup of love for you i feel that whatever they have come out of that was quite fearful that created a close of a cycle and an opening of a new cycle with you um i feel that they want to come in and offer this cup of love i feel that they are thinking about you on a daily basis in this particular deck the four of cups the guy always for me just looks sad um other decks you know somebody looks quite dreamy and mesmerized at this cup coming in thinking and you know probably thinking about this person on a daily basis in this particular deck it's almost like you know i see this cup of love coming but there's just something within them that's just kind of like I, I, I'm, I, I don't know, you know, I'm kind of like, I, I don't know, do I want this? Do I, you know, but, you know, whatever they, whatever they um, were going through 
or whatever is available to them isn't serving them. And I feel that as divine comes in to put this connection back on track, the messages of passion is going to um, result in this cup of love coming in and they're waiting, they're waiting to come and offer this cup of love. Look at this, oh my days. And then you've got the Ace of Cups. And that is because, do you know what? Divine is just awesome, really. Really, really awesome. I mean, as, as Divine comes in to um, balance out this connection um, and get it back on track, prompt, prompting you, prodding you to make that effort, I feel that um, as this person comes in with these messages of passion, eventually moving in quite slowly, I feel, to offer this cup of love, both of you are going to be reciprocating this love. I feel that um, coming into the latter part of October, that I, I feel that both of you will realise this deep soul connection of having lived past lives together and the love that you have for each other is going to be um, reciprocated, but you both may not, you, you may not speak it to each other. I feel with the four of coins coming in again, this person is just thinking about you on a daily basis, on a daily basis. You are in their heart, you're in their mind, and they don't want to let go of this connection. I feel that they've recognised um, how deep this connection is, literally, from the moment that they um, they met you, um, for sure. Thank you. And the next card is, they do have a lot of passion for you, Taurus. Not even going to mince that. Um, the, 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 the sexual chemistry is off the chart here. Um, and they could, yeah, that, that's why they're thinking about you on a daily basis. Not only is it a deep soul connection, but the physical connection is unbelievable. I feel that with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of um, Wands here and them thinking about this connection daily, this is not just a physical connection. This is a connection that has the potential to be that great love of your life. You're going to have somebody that loves you unconditionally. You're going to have somebody that is passionate. The sexual chemistry is on par. You are both on the same page. Look at the victory that's coming in once divine come in, comes in and prompts and props you to make that effort. And I feel that you're coming in as the king of wands. They see you um, as somebody that is passionate. Um, you are the one that they want. Um, the chemistry, and look at the ace of wands. Look, we've got the ace of wands here, the ace of wands. This connection for, on a physical level is off the chart. Off the chart. Okay, let's get some more. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me the final outcome? Oh, look, we've got cards. Okay, we've got cards already here. Wow, oh my days. Okay, so, all right, the cards were already there for us. We've got the seven of um, uh, swords. We've got the sun again, wow. And we have got the seven of coins. Taurus, divine is not playing with you. That is all I can say. And we have got, well, this card fell out first. Wow, the lovers, oh my days. And for the bonus card, you've got the queen of coins, which I'm just going to prop prompt there. Um, so not only do they want to fight for this connection because they... Um, they see you as their um, their ultimate soulmate, but I feel that's them coming in as the queen of coins. This is somebody that is abundant, stable, spiritual, um, but they are not telling you, they are not telling you how um, they feel about you. Um, they're keep, there's something that they're keeping from you, and I feel it's because you've got this, you know, non-approachable, um, presence or that's the vibe that you're giving off but divine is just not mucking around with justice and the two sun two suns coming out Taurus this is just divine at its finest just saying you know what 
I don't care if you have everything. I don't care if you're fully abundant. Remember who has who has provided that for you. It is divine. It is your higher self that is connected to divine. That's why you are so abundant. And you know what? I'm telling you right now, Taurus, make the effort with this person because actually you're going to need them. This is going to be the greatest love of your life. I feel that they want to make the effort. They want to put the work in. You know, if this is a connection that's happened at work, you know, they are, they're hard, they're hard worker. They're a hard worker. And I feel that them coming as the queen of coins, um, Taurus, that um, they equally are abundant. Um, you know, they have their own finances. You know, if you are relatively, um, you know, wealthy, financially sound, you know, well, you know, financially stable, they're not after you for their money. They're putting in their work. They're waiting for their um, the seeds that they have sown to re yield that those um, results, it could be somebody that's been trying to get your attention for such a long while because they see you as this ultimate, you know, this ultimate soul connection. This is my twin flame card in this in this deck. You know, this is divine. Look at Cupid's arrow coming in and just connecting these two people together. I mean this is this is divine at its finest um uh taurus i just feel that you know divine is just saying to you you know what i i don't care if you've got everything i'm saying to you that you need love you need love um a love that is going to be um you know something that is just going to blow your mind and I feel that by making that effort, Taurus, and going with the flow of this, that you're going to be really surprised where it leads to. With the magician here, I feel that they are manifesting this connection. They are not telling you. I feel that they're manifesting to try and almost just get some sort of sign from you that you're interested Um and to, you know, if you are hiding how you're feeling, then they are manifesting that, that you that you come forward, that you make that effort. Please, can you clarify the final outcome cards? Thank you. Yeah, look, we have the world card again. They are manifesting this new cycle, this new beginning. And, you know, if they feel that you are not um, saying how you feel or you're keeping something from them, they are manifesting that that comes to light. So this cycle can can start. I feel that they are moving away from whatever, you know, that um, fear and distress was. I kind of feel that it's from a past relationship, but they're moving away from it. They also could be moving away from your non-approachable um, presence and just trusting in divine um, that this is a victorious connection. And even though they are moving towards this happiness, um, because they might see you as moving away from starting this cycle, which is leaving them unbalanced. Um, you know, should I, should I come forward? Should I not come forward? What should I do? I see that this is a beautiful connection. It's victorious. Um, but I don't know. I don't know how this person feels about me. Please, can you further clarify the final? Thank you. Wow. On my days, you've got the lovers coming in again. This is so divinely guided. I, I feel that this is yeah, this is this is your twin flame, um, Taurus, just really trying to come in and, um, you know, continue on your path of past lives, connections. Um, this is, sorry, the two of cups. They don't want to let go of this um, connection. In this deck, this is my twin flame. In this deck, this is my twin flame. So that's why I just say it, it's it's the lovers. It's it's the um, it's the deep soul connection. They do not want to let go of this connection um, at all. The seeds have been planted, and they are just waiting. Look, they're waiting, waiting. 
they're not letting go of this connection that is almost as if they need that little bit of encouragement from you to come forward and then just allow the relationship to evolve and grow because divine's got this divine's got this connection all the way please can you give me some more clarifications to the final in-depth outcome cards please the final outcome cards please can you clarify for the collective thank you wow and judgment yeah they they want reconciliation for sure absolutely i feel that on a deep soul level they recognize um you as their twin flame and this isn't reconciliation i feel in the 3d taurus I feel that this is reconciliation because you have lived past lives together. You may have been married with each other with the justice and the um, six of cups here. They are nostalgic. It's as if they know you. It's as if they know you and they just want to get that connection back, start this cycle. They're not letting go of this connection um, because they see how the potential. I mean, two sons. I don't think... I've not pulled a, a, a reading for, for ages with, with two sons in them. I mean, this is just, yeah, this has the potential, Taurus, to be the greatest love of your life. Absolutely. Thank you. And, yeah, they feel out, left out in the cold. They want to put into this connection, Taurus, with the five of coins here. They do see this divine um, connection, this deep soulmate connection with you, seeing you possibly as their twin flame, but the union hasn't come together and they feel left out in the cold and all they want to do is just reconcile with you. And I feel that reconciliation is on a soul level because their soul knows your soul from past life lifetimes yeah they are nostalgic about you with the six of cups all they want to do is just they, they just they, they just want to come together with you they recognize you i mean the six of um, cups here and the six of cups here you at the top them seeing you as this independent beautiful wise abundant person but they're also seeing that you are their deep, deep soulmate. They are nostalgic for you. And, you know, if this is resonating on a twin flame level, they see you as that deep soulmate. Um, but because you're not in union, they feel left out in the cold. And all they want to do is give to this connection. Wow. Fascinating um, message for you, Taurus. Let's have a look and see what your soulmate message is saying. Please, can you tell us the soulmate message for the collective of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in love for the month of October 2020? What is the soulmate message? Thank you. So the first card that's come out. Yeah, have I got that focused? Okay, yeah. It says, everything happens for a reason. And even though the reason is sometimes unclear, I graciously accept all that transpires in the knowing that it unfolds through love in accordance with the divine will of my soul. Oh, my days. Divine is so strongly intervening in this connection. And I feel that the person that you are connecting to, they are you know, we've had the three of ones coming up several times. They are patiently waiting, patiently going within, trying to seek that guidance. They could be, um, you know, somebody that's into prayer meditation, you know, looking, looking um, to their divine self, to their higher self, to divine asking the question is this the one is this the one is this the one and i feel that divine is just guiding this connection and intervening and if you have given this person the cold shoulder it's almost they are just like just being really humble and gracious 
um, and recognizing that if this is a twin flame, that this is the process that they need to go through. They are really coming in so strongly there as the queen of coins, you know, somebody who's abundant and wise and very spiritual. They, I feel, know what's happening in this connection. Um, and they may, uh, they may be, you know, leaning on divine to just guide them. And, um, and as so, I feel divine is answering their prayers because they know that whatever is going to transpire, which I feel is this great love for both of you, um, whatever's going to unfold, it's going to unfold through love in accordance to what divine wants for you both. Your second message says, we are eternally blessed by a profound love, by a sacred union with the great source of light, who love, whose love moves the earth and stars. Oh my God, oh my gosh. This, like, this person recognises that this is a twin flame connection and they do recognise that this is a sacred union. Um, and that is why divine, I feel, is just getting involved because they because divine needs to um there's a purpose there, there there is a purpose i feel um taurus for you and this person um on this on this earth and you've got two extra so i'm just gonna t I, i've just taken them your next soul mate message says your soul mate's love surrounds you this very moment stop and feel it unconditional love glowing through the eternal flame of oneness a spiritual union of two souls radiating light for the entire world to feel what did i just say you both have a higher purpose in this lifetime and i feel it is to radiate that that love um and it is something that is divinely guided for sure and then the final soulmate message says in order to cope with separation from a loved one, we need to realise that spiritually we are always connected to those we love. Neither distance nor time can separate that which is united by love. How beautiful. I feel that that final message is just letting you know how deeply connected from past lifetimes you are with this person. And it's just kind of like, you know what? Taurus, it doesn't matter. Time is um, is is nothing to this connection. This is an eternal love um, that will go the distance because it is divinely guided. It is blessed, um, and it is all wrapped around this unbelievable, unconditional, eternal love that you have for each other and they recognize it and know it from past lifetimes taurus my last words to you are you know what make that effort because this could definitely be uh, it is the greatest love of your life in this lifetime you've had many lifetimes with this person and um, i feel that it has the potential to be the greatest love of your life in this lifetime. Beautiful message, Taurus. Um, I'm going to leave it there. If that resonated with you, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up to push it out to other Taurus. And uh, subscribe if you like. Check out your moon, rising and Venus for a broader perspective. Um, other than that, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. Sending you loads and loads of love, peace and like light. Take care. Bye-bye.